Hello everyone and today I'm gonna teach you how to do multi-threading in C or C++ So here I'm using C++ So I have included as stream and conio.h And I'm also using namespace as chickd And again you have to include a pthread.h header file And make a function void function And put a star followed by your function name you can name it anything i'm gonna name it th1 and then in arguments you have to give a void star followed by name you can name it anything in here you can do whatever you want i'm gonna print hello like 50 times or so with thread one so i'm gonna do for int i equals one and then i is smaller equal to 50 then i plus plus so this will run exactly 1 to 50 times and i'm gonna see out i and colon space hello and uh, new line so this will print hello for 50 times but if you compile this you get nothing because you just haven't told in main thread that you need to start that thread so first we are gonna create a thread id type p thread underscore t and uh, this will be id for our thread so i'm gonna name it id1 and uh, then you have to create the thread so type in p thread underscore create and this is how you create the thread so type in the thread id on which you have to create so and id1 which is this variable over here and then null and then the function name so my function name is th1 and the arguments which are null in my case you can give any type of arguments because this is void over here and that's it you have created one thread so if you run this you can see still nothing printed out that's because the main thread which is this console window is starting a thread on this id and uh, just exiting so this thread has no console to print itself on what you have to do is you can do p thread underscore join and you can give it the id which is id1 and again null so this will join the thread this thread with main thread so if you can see it printed hello 50 times you can also do is you can type get ch in it so this main thread star is started till you press uh, anything and uh, this can print itself so you can see it didn't exit it if i press enter or anything it exits but uh, if i press any key while it's printing it will stop so it will be hard for me to press any key while it's starting so i will still try oh <laughs> it <laughs> this happened sorry yeah <laughs> compile and run oh, i will run that yeah you can see that it stopped on 27 and uh, you can just copy this and paste this so now i can use uh, do two threads at a time or three threads at a time you can keep the argument same but uh, to distinguish between the threads i'm just printing hi over here hi what's that yeah hi so now you will see things messing around and i will keep this thing as it is just gonna add one more id id2 and you can just copy paste this and i'm just gonna change the id and uh, the name of the function and i don't, still don't want any argument so it's fine for me and now you can see things messing up so here you can see first one printed then second threads one printed and then the space and hello printed cause it was started earlier and 
then space and high printed so high printed four three more times and then hello printed cause this consumed a lot of time while printing hello cause hello is bigger word than hi so hi just trust till it became 50 and then hello started rushing so that was it for threads hope you guys enjoyed this video and i have cursor coming out so you can change your cursor of windows for only windows so don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, the video that's showing up on the screen is the most recommended for you so make sure you click it and bye